The Great American Dog Show has kicked off about 15 minutes ago. So we are also, for those of you going to go all weekend long, going to give you a little sneak peek of what's going on. What is going down down there? Audrina. Hey, And Brad. Jamaica. There are my girls. Right there. There they are. <laughs> Tell me what's up. I mean, in Jamaica, I hear you got some. I hear you got hey. some. I hear you got some crazy about food that dogs and people can eat. Yes, Brad, we have got lots on food. First, we are here. We're setting the scene for you at the Renaissance Schomburg Convention Center. The dog show opened just 15 minutes ago. And Jamaica, while we have the live competition starting already here, you've got a big talk about dog food, which we know is something that we all need to find for our dogs. Absolutely. You cannot expect these furry friends of ours to be competing without anything to eat. So I'm going to introduce you to a locally owned 80 year old company, actually over 80 years, Evanger's Pet Food. They have their, their booth right here in front of the competition space and I'm here with two sisters who are part of their family operation good morning y'all how are good you doing morning, Jamaica. thank you so much for joining us and so I know that you guys have a lot of product here but there are a couple of really cool things on the table that kind of paint a picture of your family history in pet food so I was wondering could you tell us how does one's family get into making pet food <laughs> It's a really long story, but our background is the meat industry and then, of course, the passion for pets, where my dad ended up inventing food for our own dog. Even though the company is about 90 years old, what he invented for our dog is about 20 years old, and it's one of our best-selling foods today. It's one of these guys right here, correct? Oh, yeah. This is the roasted chicken drumettes. It's actually whole pieces of roasted chicken, the same as you and I would eat. And so if we're talking about foodies, this is what you might find for a restaurant at a restaurant for pets, but in an Avengers can. And then this is also for our dog Yukon. It's a whole steak in a can. This is called the braised beef with fruits and vegetables, and it's complete and balanced for dogs. So one of my biggest questions is what is the major difference between what I'm having at dinner and what is inside of your cans here? Because I know that I'm not supposed to be feeding my dog off the plate, even though sometimes we all want to. So really talk to me about what are what are the differences for the pets here? That's a great question. I would say there really is a minimal difference, except for in the Avengers version, it's complete and balanced. Our food on its own, if you were just to feed your own, might not have all the vitamins and minerals that a dog or cat would require. But our food makes it convenient, and it comes in the can ready to serve. Well, it is so exciting that you guys are right here. I know you are going to have a lot of foot traffic this weekend because your healthy food is exactly what pet owners are looking for, in addition to the fabulous competitions, of course. So, Brad, I'm going to toss it back to you. Happy Foodie Friday. Thank you, Jamaica. We appreciate it. Happy Foodie Friday.